Shalom. Shalom Aleichem. Peace to you. Hallelujah. Well, we have people from um, our congregation in Manhattan, our Saturday congregation, from a congregation we call Beit Hofesh, which is Hofesh in Hebrew is freedom. Beit is the house, so it's called House of Freedom. And um, I want everybody to stand up. That is, I know that uh, from our congregation, stand up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. These people, we're missing, we're missing one. This is um, Sister Carol, Sister Dolores, and uh, the mother of Sister Carol, our mom. Hallelujah. Pam, and the minister in his own right. Hallelujah. Uh, Andrea, we have from the Russian, uh, our, we have another church, Russian church, uh, Valentina. Hallelujah. She is our evangelist. Praise the Lord. This people, also we're missing here, uh, Kathy, Kathy Oberg. She is the one that blows the... Uh, the shofar, she's also, she's a blessed uh, shofar blower, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God, are you, are you trying to fix that? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, you're trying to turn it over, okay. Um, well, I also, I want to thank right away the congregation, uh, the entire congregation of uh, the Word of Life. I want to thank specifically Pastor Linda, hallelujah, also endowed it to uh, ultimately to uh, Pastor Sal, who prepared such a great congregation, whom I never met, never known, but uh, it's such a blessing to be here because he has established everything, I feel like, for me too, hallelujah. <laughs> and so, um, I, he is ministering right now at the throne of God, hallelujah. He was called to that greater ministry, hallelujah. And so, I want to thank you for inviting me here and... Um, for allowing me to speak, I also want to acknowledge Eagle's Wings that are here, the representative of Eagle's Wings, this young, uh, young people, hallelujah, and uh, uh, who dedicated their entire life really to serve God through praying and loving Israel, Jerusalem, and Jewish people. There is Kathy, praise the Lord. Kathy, raise your hand, hallelujah. She's a blessed shofar blower, hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Uh, wonderful, 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 wonderful three days. I'm concluding this, and before anything, I... Uh, by the way, do, did, did, you, did you like this? Did yes. you like... Yes. Do you know what that is? Yes. That is, uh, we call sukkah, uh, from the word sukkot, because from the word sukkot in Hebrew. Because today, actually, is the last day of the celebration of the Feast of Sukkot. Remember Rosh Hashanah, yeah. which is the Feast of Trumpets, ten days later... Yom Kippur, you remember it because it's very uh, well-known holiday here in, in New York, New Jersey, uh, nowhere else, you know, but, but yeah, <laughs> except Israel, hallelujah, you know, but here is everybody knows about it. So New York, um, New Jersey well knows about it. And so, um, and so Rosh Hashanah, 10 days later after Rosh Hashanah is Yom Kippur, four days later is called the Feast of the Tabernacles. In Hebrew is Hag, Hag Sukkot. Uh, tabernacles. And so we build um, a tabernacle specifically, uh, it's an Old Testament feast, uh, the seventh feast, today is the seventh day of that seventh feast, and it's happening on the seventh month of the Hebrews calendar, and today is, as the Bible says, Jesus celebrated that, that, that feast, and it actually says, and the last and greatest day of that feast, Jesus stood up and cried out, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Wow. Remember that. Amen. That's, that's at that feast, John chapter 7. Wow. You can see, that it says specifically at the Feast of the Tabernacles. And on the great day of that, the last day, and great day of that feast. Now, I specifically build it right before, the, right before the cross. Because I want, through the Old Testament, see the New Testament. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. So we also have, um, the, we also have a, 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 another tabernacle built, right? Uh, in, above our material uh, and we want to explain to you a little bit about our material before that I want to introduce my beautiful wife hallelujah <laughs> Teresa God bless her hallelujah hallelujah Holy Ghost now so the time of by the way the time of uh, Sukkot is you know when when Solomon built the temple uh, and he finished a prayer the, uh, the, the sanctifying prayer the fire came down and the glory filled the temple. It happened at the time of Sukkot. You can see it in Chronicles, excuse me, in Second Chronicles chapter 7. But, so I want to remind you that this is the time of fire. 
Hallelujah. This is the time of glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. For us. This is the time of river. Hallelujah. I am the living waters. Hallelujah. If anyone thirsts, let him come unto him. Hallelujah. So I want you right now to be aware because everything today I'll be speaking. When I, when I hear what I'm saying today is important because you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. You're going to be touched. You're going to be changed. You're going to be healed. You're going to be delivered. You will receive the answer to your prayer today. And I mean it. When you hear what is said today because the Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost prepare you, prepare me, prepare us because God wants to minister to all of us. Hallelujah. And we're not talking about just God, any God. We're talking about God of Israel. I don't believe in God. I believe in God of Israel. Hallelujah. Because there are, there are many gods. And uh, who knows what God means. Some people say, I have my own God. But we believe in the God of Israel. Yeah. We believe in the Messiah of Israel. Hallelujah. We believe in the Holy Ghost that God sent, the God of Israel, sent through the Messiah of Israel for us. Hallelujah. To have power. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was a, 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 a Muslim, an ex-Muslim speaking on Friday. How many people heard him? Uh, there was a few, a few people here that heard him. Amen. He was a scholar. He was a, a, a doctor. Daniel. Hallelujah. I have to tell you right away, I'm not a scholar. Hallelujah. I am, I am, I'm just a, a, a regular, regular person. I never finish any seminary. Anybody finish seminary here? Raise your hand. Well, then we, well, only one, well, well, we can relate to one, the majority, hallelujah. I didn't finish it either. In fact, when I first met God, I didn't know what the Bible was, amen. You know, uh, some people say it's easy for you to speak because you were an actor. That's right, I was an actor. I was a circus, I was a Moscow circus actor. But you know what actor I was, what kind of actor I was? I was silent actor. I was an acrobat. They don't talk. You know, and so, and so I said, and besides, I have, I'm a very slow reader. I cannot read fast at all. So when I said, God, I don't know how I can ever read this thick book. Look at this. I've, I've never read anything in my life because I'm so such, not because I don't want to. I'm a very slower, slower reader. And God says, you want to know my word? I said, yes. He breathed on me. And the moment he breathed on me, I just knew the word. I don't know how, but I just, my heart just thaw off, like, like um, it, 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 it just uh, melted, and I knew the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray that the fire, the glory, hallelujah, and the Spirit, hallelujah, will touch every heart, every mind, every soul, every prayer, and every need be answered. Today, hallelujah, today, Father God, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of blessing. Today is the day to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. In Yeshua's name, amen. And so, Jehovah, Jesus, Jerusalem, Jews, they all start with J. Amen. But really, in, in Hebrew, it's um, Yahweh. Amen. Or Yahovah in Hebrew. And then we say Yeshua. Amen. Yeshua. Again, everything with Y. Yerushalayim. Yudi. The Jews. Everything with Y. Because everywhere there is the name of Yahweh. Yahweh by itself is Yahweh. But then Yeshua. Yahweh Shua. God saves. Hallelujah. Then Yerushalayim. The city of peace. And then, then Yudi. Yahweh Udim. Yahweh, worshippers of Yahweh, praising of Yahweh. When Le Leah gave birth to uh, Yehuda or Judah, we know Judah. Amen. She said, "I will praise Yahweh," and she called him Yehuda. 
And so from that point on, we are, I am a Yehudi. Many Yehudim. One is Yehuda or Yehudi. Why? Everything starts with why. Why? 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 Well, we know why Yahweh. We know why God. Amen. But why? Yeshua. Why? Yerushalayim. Why? Yehudi. Why all those names suddenly present? We know God is. God exists. Amen. But now we're talking about Jesus, we're talking about Jerusalem, we're talking about Jews. I want to talk a little bit about, hallelujah, about Jews, a little bit. And in Luke chapter 19 and verse 10, that's where it all starts, understanding starts from that particular verse. Luke chapter 19 and verse 10 says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost that which was lost amen that not notice not them that were lost because when we read immediate feeling oh this he came for the people to get them to get them to, to get them saved amen but it doesn't say that it doesn't and it's in greek and and in english as well it doesn't say them that are lost it says that that was that were lost amen you can read it in your scriptures, hallelujah. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. What was that which was lost? We know what was lost. Folks, he was looking for faith. Amen. He was looking for faith because when he found, when he looked at this centurion, he said, I have not found, no, no not such faith, no, not in Israel. Hallelujah. So he was looking for it. Amen. And in order for them to be saved, that that was lost has to be first saved. Amen. Amen. Somebody said to me, well, you're talking all the way about faith. About I said, well, brother, how old were you saved? That's it. Amen. Hallelujah. So, the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. But where was it lost, folks? It was lost in the Garden of Eden. Amen. The faith was lost in the Garden of Eden. The Bible clearly tells us that when Eve partook of the tree in Genesis chapter 2, uh, 3, it says that Adam was right with her, right there. And she did eat and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat so he was with her so she ate he ate amen he didn't even resisted it have you noticed that there was no resistance but god told him in the day you eat of the tree you shall die amen hello hello amen. in the day the hebrew stays not in the day it says in the moment you eat you die it doesn't take 24 day, hours to die it says in the moment you eat so he knew that yet he is not even he didn't even say to Eve, Eve, wait a minute, hold on, let, let, let me pray, let me ask God, you just ate something, I don't know whether I should eat it or not. He didn't even say, I would like to ask God or pray or, 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 or let me uh, go read the Word of God. No, no that, that hasn't existed at this point yet, the Word of God. But anyway, so he didn't resist it. Why did he not resist? Because... God said, if you eat, you die. She ate, she didn't die. Hello?